the first 60 second weighing concept. Since Snowflake follows a pay as you go model, it is important to understand whether billing is based on an hourly, minute or second level. We will use the same representation to understand the first 60 second billing concept. So when you submit your copy command or any kind of query that needs a virtual warehouse or a compute resource, and if the compute resource is in a suspended state, it changes its state and become active. And Snowflake charges for first 60 second irrespective of whether your query is running for 10 second or a 30 second or 59 second. What it means that if you are running a query or executing a copy command in a standard edition of Snowflake with extra small compute means one node cluster, the minimum work load cost would be around $0.03 and the same workload will cost you around $17.06 if you run it at 6x extra large virtual warehouse having 512 nodes. The cost will increase by 50% if the Snowflake edition is enterprise edition and it will increase by 100% if you are using business critical edition compared to the standard edition. This pricing is based on their current pricing model considering AWS as their cloud platform and North America is the region. If you would like to understand the exact pricing for other cloud provider and region, I would request you to go and refer their pricing chart. Coming back to the point, after first 60 seconds, Snowflake start following per second billing model, which is one of the very important things to note. So always remember, when you run different workload, be it a copy command or any kind of query execution, design and orchestrate them in such a way that they use the virtual warehouse idle time very smartly, else you would pay for unused uptime of your virtual warehouses. One more important thing to remember, when you create a virtual warehouse, don't create it using SnowSight web UI. Always create it using a SQL statement, as you can use a parameter called initially suspended. By default, this parameter is false. And when you create a virtual warehouse using this parameter as a true, the compute resource will not start at the time of creation. So let's see them in action. So this is my SnowSight web UI. If you look into this SQL, here I'm creating a virtual warehouse. And I added one additional parameter called initially underscore suspended equals to true. By default, this parameter is set to false. So now let me create this virtual warehouse. So it is created successfully. And let me quickly run the show warehouse command. So if you look, this warehouse is right now suspended. And if I go back to my previous screen where SnowSight allows me to create a virtual warehouse through a pop-up, when I expand my advanced options, these are the properties available. However, I do not have any property called initially suspended equals to true or a false. So always remember, if you are creating a lot of virtual warehouses, Snowflake platform, to save the cost, make sure that you create it via SQL statement and have the initially suspended value equals to true and also specify the auto suspend value equals to 60 and auto resume equals to. I hope you got something valuable from this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.